This week, there were some interesting challenges, some interesting things changed. Just over $23,000 in total sales. We lost our first Florida employee. Woo, let's do this. Hey, good to see you today. We are catching up on our weekend recaps. I, I missed last week's, or not last week's, two weeks ago, so I wanted to catch you up on that, on the recap of that week. Hey everyone, I'm Jacob Godar. I built a business that started in 2014 part-time. By 2019, it was a award-winning seven-figure business, and then in 2021, we opened up another branch in Southwest Florida. What we're doing with this YouTube channel is documenting that growth. We're using that documentation and those things that we've done to help others scale their business to a million dollars and beyond. Let's get right into this recap. So two weeks ago, awesome week. Things have been crazy ever since and there's so many things I'm watching and keeping my eye on so many balls. I let this one slip, I let the week recap go. It marked our best week in overall sales so far. There's a couple really, really important things. One's the marketing to get the sales and then once the sale has been made, the production of the actual work. Those three things are what keeps the wheels rolling. I mean, there's a million other pieces, but those are the big three. We had just over $23,000 in total sales. We sold our biggest landscape job in Florida for 13,000, I believe 391. I'm, I'm back in Illinois. We had to travel back for a couple weeks. I'm a little sniffly with all the cold weather change. It's so weird being in an area that all of a sudden it's, it's freezing again when you're used to 90 degree weather all the time. So it marked in Florida the biggest week of sales yet. We had so much opportunity coming in. So many things were happening. It also marked a lot of other goals that we'd actually hit. So we were able to, you know, like take some dates with my wife is a very important thing. So we were able to do that. You know, the getting the business business buyout pricing and deductions prepped for our next payments on the business we bought last year, I was able to do that. So, so many things were happening. But overall, for Florida, it was such a successful week and it was so good to see these projects sell. It was so good to start seeing more and more applications come in for people wanting to potentially work and see that it's there, the potential is there. This job was sold on pricing just like we would in Illinois. A lot of our mowing, it's doing the same thing. Like we're pricing price levels that people said we would not be able to charge. And, and that means a lot to me, not because we're trying to take advantage of the market, but it's we're bringing value to the market. That's what determines the worth of your business, the worth of anything you do, is the value you bring. And we're going to continue to bring a high, high value company to the area. It's gonna cost more money to pay a company like that to work. Two weeks ago, was awesome. Biggest sales, sold some higher dollar mowing packages that really are propelling us into seeing what we can charge and how profitable we can be. And the more profitable we can be, the better team we can build, the more benefits. From that point back, I think, you know, since we started, there was maybe almost $50,000 in sales. Uh, not produced work, but sold work. And I was looking at my goals and my goal set, I, you know, I had for Florida, I had when we hire the first employee, what the revenue goal was for the month, all these things. Well, to, to catch everyone up, Hiring the first employee happened a month earlier. It looks like we're going to smash the revenue goal a month earlier, and then we're going to continue to do more of the same, the more of the same, more of the same. So that was the week. It was awesome. A lot of sales, a lot of action, a lot of running, and a lot of work. But that's what makes it all happen. Let me know how your week two weeks ago was. Let me know what you smashed or goals you crushed and what you achieved. It was another wild, crazy week. This week, there were some interesting challenges, some interesting things changed. We lost our first Florida employee. Wasn't fired, no call, no show. At our company, that's the same as termination. For all the people that are asking, what do we do about no call, no shows, or what do you do about that? Like, that's termination. You know, if someone do that to you, they don't they don't care about the company. And that's the thing, it's hard to find people and get them aligned. If people don't care, like, it's never gonna work. So, we lost our first employee. I had to actually step out in the field for a couple days. We finished one of our first biggest cleanups we've done. It was very exciting to see that kind of go and, and things start to spool up and the income that the company in Florida is driving weekly go up and up and up and up and up. But on the flip side of that, I hired our best employee so far. We saw even more leads come in for new people wanting to, to potentially meet and interview. And we're going to continue aggressively interviewing and growing the company. The whole goal has been market, sell, produce, crank that as hard as I can to spool that company up. I, I look at it like a plane getting off the ground and, and, and that and that 
work be the air under its wings. That's what we accomplished last week. And on top of all of that, we had some additional, not a ton of sales so far. I mean, it's Sunday, so that week's pretty much over, but there's some really good leads that are probably gonna at least turn into, you know, several thousand dollars worth of sales. I think we only had like two or $3,000 worth of sales. On Wednesday, we left to go back to Illinois because we had some prior obligations and I'm going to be here for at least a week. I knew going in that there was gonna be less sales, there's gonna be less focus. We were trying to get some hires and we we're trying to get the structure going. Florida already has two and a half weeks of work sold, so there's work going on. Multiple estimates that are getting put together right now and appointments set up for this week. So all in all, it was a great week. We had a safe trip in the motorhome back to Illinois. I was able to get my boots on the ground there and see what's going on and look at you know maybe current, uh, current issues, current things that we can do to up our efficiency and make the company run better in Illinois and in Florida. So that's the wrap for the week. It was another exciting week full of stress, wins, losses, a whole exciting journey. And that's what business is. And that's why I think it's so cool to document this week and week and week and week, week in, week out from starting from scratch, because this is such a relatable thing. I had someone explaining to me his business and saying, well, you know, where he was starting at. It's like, I'm starting, we're starting this one at zero. So I, I can relate. And I've started businesses at zero before, you know, and I'm parts of multiple different businesses. So I, I can relate to the struggle of getting off the ground, the struggle of getting the employees to work. The struggle is still, it continues even when the company gets bigger. The, the challenges and the problems just get bigger and they change. Don't It never gets easy. It only gets harder, but you have to get better. This is the transition this is making and that's why we're doing these week reviews and we're going over some of the wins, going over some of the sales, going over some of the things that are possible to show you what is possible, to show you how our company's working and ask questions, especially if you you're starting a business right now and you're facing some challenges, I'm, I'm transitioning this new one through starting. And I wanna know your challenges and that's what these videos are here to help and I wanna be able to comment back and see how I can help you. So leave your challenges in the comments below. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you soon in a new video. The connection that we have here and being able to share content, comments, everything means the world to me. If I inspire one person to achieve more, I have reached total success. So everyone, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Our next Platinum Mastermind is right around the corner. This one's gonna be awesome. Uh, Cody Owens, a really, really good friend of mine who owns Lightspeed Marketing, is going to be the guest. He's going to be going all over all types of different things in marketing, educating, making sure you know what you have to do to grow your company. But even more important, he's gonna have an offer of a free month of service from his company, from any of the people that are attending this. If you're wanting to grow your company and you're just wanting to learn, well, this is a great place to be. If you want to take advantage of that offer and grow your company and have someone else help you even more, it's an amazing offer. It's a lot of value. And that's just a little piece of the Platinum Mastermind. I look forward to seeing you there.